I want to help you level up as well as get cash and gold in the process. Welcome and thanks for watching the video. Before we get into it, I want to go ahead and give a couple shout outs to Smith, who you'll see in the gameplay in this video, and then also to Dante Brown, aka Dragon Hunter, who ended up leaving a comment on a video I posted about this method a couple days ago, who told me a way you can go ahead and increase your bonuses for this mission. So appreciate the help, guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm offering is the opportunity to basically get you 1400 to 1600 XP every mission as well as about 32 gold bars and up to $60 just for completing this mission. Now this is going to be very similar to the video I posted the other day where I'm giving away the opportunity to a couple people where I'm going to go ahead and make you 500 in-game cash. This is going to be different. What I'm going to do is just start up the mission. I'm going to make sure it's just me and you. And I'm not going to do a damn thing except for watch you kill everybody. The more people you kill, the more XP you're going to get, whether it's with the special ammo that you get during this mission, headshots, melee kills, executions, it's all going to add up. And it's going to equal roughly, like I said, between 1400 to 1600 XP. And that does not include all the awards that you will unlock for killing the 40 to 50 players each one of these missions. So, as I said, it's going to be very similar to that other giveaway, so there's going to be a couple numbers that you see on the screen. And make sure when you guys leave your comments, if you want to enter this giveaway, only leave numbers that you see on the screen here, because that's where I take all my info from when I do my giveaways to make it as le legit as possible. So you're going to see a bunch of numbers pop up, whether it's ammo, this, that, you know, I'm not going to give too much details, you got to kind of figure that out on your own. But you're looking for specific numbers that you will see in this video on screen as the two numbers that I'm going to pick and those two winners will get the opportunity to use me to start up the mission and go ahead and kill as many people get the XP then we're going to you know finish the mission and then do it again and then we'll just keep repeating that process so you level up a couple levels during this process now if you want to go ahead and enter what you need to do is leave a comment in the comment section you can only leave one comment for this giveaway if you leave multiple comments I'm going to go ahead and take the first one that you left as your entry for the giveaway sorry guys this is for Xbox only so yes, obviously you can go ahead and do this mission, just load into the lobby, you know, play with a bunch of randoms. The problem is, if you do that, you're not really going to be likely to find people that are going to go ahead and wait the extended amount of time so you can get the rewards. Usually as soon as you guys kill Teddy Brown, everybody rushes over to the body and it will go ahead and end this mission. So whoever ends up winning, you're going to have a couple different options. And I'll go ahead and explain the details on how this actually works where you can get the maximum rewards. And again, that's where my friend Dante Brown, aka Dragon Hunter, comes in. You know, I did a video the other day because I do a lot of stranger missions and looking for hideouts and all kinds of ways to get XP. I'm not the best PvP player, so I'm trying to maximize my time and XP in the process. So this one actually is great for everybody. What will happen is if you do this mission, yeah, you will get a couple hundred XP once you kill Teddy Brown and you will get the XP for killing all the players. Um, but, you know, things get dramatically increased if you go ahead and wait. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the process real quick. What you do is you start up the mission. And like I said, for my case right now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let you get the most XP out of every mission by going ahead and killing everybody. And you'll have the option to either kill Teddy Brown and we'll go ahead and end the mission. Go back to the lobby. There's a cooldown period. Then we start it up again. If you do that, you're looking at roughly about 800 to 1,000 XP between the kills and finishing the mission, as well as only about 10 to $20 worth of gold and maybe 10 gold bars. But if you go ahead and wait 20 minutes, what's going to happen is you're going to notice, you see popping up on the screen, I got, I think it was 935 XP, 32 gold bars, and about $60. And we will go ahead and keep repeating this process, or like I said, if you want to quickly just run through it and you know keep grinding it out, it's going to be basically up to you guys. But this will be a great way to level up, and I just want to give the shout outs again to Smith, Appreciate the help and also Dragon Hunter for the tip on how to maximize your benefits. If you guys are interested, leave those comments you have until Friday, 6 p.m. East Coast time. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.